Surgeon once again, and uh, this is the third video about kick drums, or the punchy house kick drums. And now I've I've re-rendered the audio from the last one, which was this one. So I'm just gonna go like that. Get these two next to each other. So this one, if you look, it's been all distorted from me doing this using the tool up here that kind of changes the amplitude and now I've maximized as much as possible in this file so I resampled it and just opened it as a new wave file and a new file in Audacity so it resets the little dots so now I'm gonna go back up to the click over here this bundle of joy and I'm gonna do much the same thing I did before using this tool. Let me actually just pop in there like that. And I'm just gonna go right back at it. This part right here. Just go ahead and click that like that. And I want this just blasting right there. Um And this is no science I'm doing right here. This is this is just how I've found to do it, and it's for me it's worked pretty well, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I've made kick drums of brought a smile to my face. So now that that's on the bottom, that's maxed out right there. Going to. Ducking down. Alright. And so I'm just putting it, trying to get all these different peaks to the 0 dB line. That is what I'm trying to do right now. And I don't want this right here. That is. No, no. That's not what I want. And so, yeah, this is going to compress the bejesus out of everything else that's in the song, but. That's just how it is. Like that's that's how you get those super punchy kick drums. And I mean, if that's not what you want, that's you're in a different boat right now. But I'm just going through all this, and oops. yeah, I don't think I need that one. There's not much I can really do to help that guy. So here we are. Yeah, I don't know the hotkey cues for Audacity, but I'll just go up there and click it, it doesn't bother me. Alright. And moving on. Then. Don't want that. Let me zoom out. And so now it comes down to the body. We're no longer in the click part right now. This is all the body. And there's let's give it a little test real quick. I'm I'm digging that thus far. Uh let's see. So if I press that, it's gonna show me the whole um the whole freaking file. So this is an important part there because depending on what kind of drum you want, you're gonna you're gonna treat the body a lot differently. And sometimes you'll just some people just use a kick and they'll have a like synthesizer that just plays the subtone underneath it. And you can do like this is where you're going to decide, well, do I want to super just like ka and it just stop or do I want it to envelope out? I mean, it's what you want, but for me, I like I like it to have a nice wholesome part to it and then drop out maybe about this far from the end. Because if it just goes the whole time and you just plop right into your next kick drum, you, it just you lose a lot of your consistency. I mean, it it's just not good because you're just having the sub playing the whole time. There's no uh, there's no change in it, and that that'll get 
people bored quickly. I mean, if you've ever listened to a song that just has a sub blasting the whole time, that's it's no good. And so, I mean, that's pretty solid right here. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just what it is. <laughs> and also, the the amplitude for this part right here is at up to your discretion. Some people just have it blasting the whole time, but you have to understand up here, it's all right to have the amplitude uh, and compress everything else, but you got to keep in mind your whole, your, the rest of your song is happening between here and here. Like all the other instruments are playing. Granted, they're still playing up here, but they're up at the start. But you you want to have this area. You have want to have a lot of headroom so your other instruments can come through in the mix. So kind of like lower that down a little bit. So uh, maybe a little bit higher. <laughs> but. And once again, if you're using another uh, kick as a reference for this, this is all like you'll you'll see where their kicks envelope out, and you can emulate that if you want. Like, but I think this is a good spot right here, maybe a little bit sharper. So it's just like, and that's pretty much it right there. There's one more part though because. You have to, if you're going to use this in the song, you're going to have to resample it. Or you're going to have to use the sample in reason. And you can be kind of discouraging at first when you plop the sample in there and you're like, what? That's not the sound that I wanted. Like, how is it not as loud as I had it before? And so. I'm just going to export that audio real fast. And so now we're back over here, and we can just go ahead and delete all of this. Delete. And make yourself an NNXT. Because it is more capable than any other sampler. Actually, that's not true. The Kong has some pretty cool stuff in it, but I just usually route it out and use a whole different device because you're limited if you use the ones inside. Alright, so initialize the NNXT and go to browse samples. Like you have to click in the sample area. And so I'm going to I didn't I just call them on reason fun, that's where I have everything. Um I'm gonna go to house kick drum final. And so that's the sample right there. And so pull up your sequencer real fast. And cool little sound there. And when you put them in there, you're going to be like, whoa, sounds really short. Well, you have to pull the, the, the whole note out. And so now that we have that going, you're going to look up here and you're going to be like, what? That thing was right at the top last I checked. Well, it was. But the problem is you have your velocity thing over here. So turn that down to zero. It's still a little bit low. So I just boost that up. Put a maximizer on it. And boom. There you go. That's the monster. It's been released. And, I mean, I always, that's just what, that's how I do it. And if you don't like it, well, you can always try again and just try another method. But if you do like it, power to you. Take it easy. Oh yeah, use this and have fun with it.